Hi, today I'm going to be sharing my hair lightening routine. It's kind of like natural highlights that I like to get using my John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightening Spray. What a name. Um, but this is just a drugstore product that you can probably find for like around $10 at your local drugstore. And I've loved this for years now. Um, I just started using it a few years ago and it pretty much permanently lightens blonde hair. So it says explicitly on the bottle it is only for blonde hair. If you have darker hair than mine, anything from brown to shades of black and gray, um, it's going to turn your hair probably a weird shade of orange because it's pretty much just like a diluted bleach spray, of course with a bunch of other ingredients. Um, so the, the directions say after um, conditioning spray through your hair on towel dry hair and then style as desired. And for optimal lightening, use a flat iron or curling iron after blow drying. So only use it once between hair washing and use only on clean, wet hair. And use no more than 10 times between coloring. I've never actually colored my hair. This is the extent of my, my hair dyeing. Um, but I think it's a great product, especially if you use it in a proper kind of controlled manner. It's easy to go crazy with a spray product. So I actually have just like a, a toner that I'm gonna show you, um, like practically water, how I actually spray this product on. So imagine you get out of the shower, your hair is wet. Also, yeah, like I said, this is my natural hair color. It's like a, a darker uh, blonde. So hair is wet. Uh, make sure you towel dry it for like at least 10 minutes or something. Um, your hair should be like it should kind of piece apart, it shouldn't be dripping at all, and you want to brush it out so that you get a really nice even application. Brush out your hair, and then you're going to maybe shake up the bottle a bit, it doesn't say to, but whatever, gotta be safe. And then I like to hold the bottle about this far away from my hair, and then I'll kind of spray the top. The top is key, okay? This is like your first time applying it, okay? So you have no color or no lightening anywhere. So you wanna get it from the top, okay? Like sort of three um, spritzes, like one side, the other side, and then the back. All right, just let the mist fall onto your hair. Then I like to sort of massage it through like that. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of spray the ends like this, almost letting the hair fall um, you can do another spray on top, but I guess a, like a, a rule of thumb would be if you have hair sort of as a similar length, um, a similar length to mine, don't put more than maybe 10 spritzes on your hair. So we have one, two, three, and then like, you know, four on this side, five, six, you want to get the back, and then maybe do one more spray sort of on the top of your hair on each side. One two, and then on the back. Again, make sure the mist has time to fall onto your hair and sort of like massage it in almost. You can brush it through to really blend the bleach pretty much through your hair. You don't want to have like patches or anything. Um, but you also want your hair to be pretty much like um, not halfway dry. I'd say maybe like 60% dry or whatever. So still pretty wet. Anyways, you want it to be relatively dry so that the hair strands absorb the product, the bleach, the acid. It's kind of like a lemony acid. I think that's also in here. But you want your hair to absorb it so that it actually works. If your hair is absorbed only, you know, if your hair is sopping wet, it's not actually going to absorb the product as well. So that's the key. Then I blow dry it. I don't really flat iron my hair. I like, you know, the natural effect that blow drying gives. And then for touch-ups, maybe within like two months I'll do a touch-up. Not very often. My hair grows about an inch every two months. So once my hair grows an inch, I'll get it and kind of just do like a few spritzes really just on the top because I find my ends are quite blonde to begin with. I don't know if you can see, but like right here, my ends are pretty blonde. So I'll just usually do the top and then massage it in a little bit. Nothing crazy. One bottle will last you years, probably. 
um, but it's a great investment if you have blonde hair and you want some natural highlights. I've never seen natural highlights from a hairdresser. Uh, anyways, most of the highlights you see are quite blocky, so something like this would be really nice, natural, and blended through your hair evenly because it is just a light mist. So uh, that is everything I have to share with you about this John Frieda Go Blonder product and my routine. I actually have some before and after shots in the blog post linked below, so check that out for some more information. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all later. Bye!